Suicide prevention and the mental health of all of our soldiers and airmen are critical to the safety and security of the citizens of the state of Arkansas. So we need to make sure that we address those special needs. As a commander, if I know that I have a soldier that is going through a tough time, I would want them to feel comfortable enough to come to me and talk about it because I care about every one of my soldiers. I just want them to know I care about them and that, that I'm here for them. You don't forget that if we were in Afghanistan and you got hurt or you needed help, you picked up the radio and you called me and I dispatched all resources available to help you. There is no difference in right over here. Over here, you get in trouble, you pick up the phone, you call me, we dispatch all resources to help you. So one of the pieces that I'm extremely passionate about is connecting with soldiers, really giving them a voice, and making sure that they understand that they are not helpless and that they're not alone making sure that they are feeling empowered in this process and just joining with them. If you know that an airman is going through a personal uh, situation, a uh, personal tragedy, the main thing is to make sure that they know that you're there for them and you can't just say that, hey, call me if you need something. You have to physically be there with them and constantly calling them and checking up on them. And that gives them the assurance that, you know, they have someone in their corner. If a soldier stops bringing their issues and problems and concerns to you, you have failed a soldier in two areas. You have not proven to the soldier that you care and you have failed him as a leader. Because if you do not care about your soldiers, you are no leader at all. Being in the Guard, you build strong bonds with your soldiers and other leaders. Um, being able to work together and knowing when these soldiers are going through hardships is very important to the mission and, and to their well-being. We want to make sure that we can identify whenever a soldier is, is going through a tough time. That way we can get them the help that they need. I think the close-knit bond of the Army National Guard, the Air National Guard, no matter what component you're from, we're a family. Think about that in, in, in an aspect of what do you do with a family? You talk to your family. When someone in the family is having a problem, you know it immediately. And we should have those conversations with our family to be able to see our family grow and stay stronger. We may not save everybody, but for the love of all things Army or life, we can save somebody. Don't quit. If you're struggling right now, I want you to understand one thing. No matter who you are, you're not alone. Every one of us struggles. Every one of us has trials, tribulations, pains, or hurt in our life. You're also not alone in the fact that people want to help. I guess the bottom line is I want all of our soldiers and airmen to understand that they're critical assets to the Arkansas National Guard and the defense of this state and our nation. If you have struggles in your lives or you have mental health issues that you're dealing with, don't be afraid to come ask. You can come ask me, you can come ask, go ask your supervisor, go ask any soldier or airman that you see in the Arkansas National Guard. We're here to help you and I want you to understand there's not a stigma attached to having a mental health or a struggle in your life. I've had struggles in my life. If you have struggles in your life, we want to make sure that you get the help to resolve those struggles. Some people may be as close as the next cubicle over, the next Humvee over, some people might be as far away as a cross post, but no matter who they are, they're willing to help. You are not alone in this.